Java to C++ Part 1 Hello C++ Do you want to make sluggish, buggy C++ programs littered with awful memory leaks and other issues you haven't even heard of? Me neither. If you've been programming in Java and want to transfer your Java knowledge into C++ without unexpectedly facing the plethora of differences between them, this video course is for you. By the end of this video, you will be able to understand some C++ syntax and play around with print statements. On the right, you can see the Java code for the Hello World program. Needless to say, it's fairly standard. Since you already know Java, I won't go into detail here. Now on the left side, you can see the C++ code for Hello World. The first line, include IO stream, imports the definitions needed for the printing of the text to the console. Don't confuse hashtag include with the Java import. The line has nothing to do with packages called namespaces in C++. Also, note how there is no semicolon needed. Every line prefixed by a hashtag takes up exactly one line of code. Should the compilation fail on this line, you could try replacing iostream with iostream.h. Much like in Java, the main method is called main and takes the command line arguments as parameters, first one being the amount of arguments, second one being a string array of the arguments. That's where the similarities stop though. Unlike in Java, the return type of the main method is int. Setting the return type to void may be possible, but the C++ standard does not guarantee it. Note how we don't have to put the main method in a class. We can put it in truly global space. This is something unique to C++ which you don't see in Java. The curly braces work exactly the same as in Java. However, generally acknowledged C++ style dictates that they, unlike in Java, should always be placed on a separate line of code. The std and then double colon uses a feature of C++ called namespaces, which are pretty much identical to Java packages. The double colon in C++, also called the scope resolution operator, replaces the dot from Java. Cout is actually a very smart C++ object, but with some C++ magic you can use two less than characters to query a print statement. The end L is also another magical object in C++, and it, as the name suggests, completes the line, much like the new line character does. Returning zero indicates the program exited successfully. End of scope. Okay, so quick recap. When you want to use cout and end L, you write hashtag include iostream or iostream.h on the top of your C++ file. The main method has a return type of int and you print stuff to the screen by writing std double colon c out two less than characters, a string and then two other less than characters and then std double colon and l. This was part one of Java to C++. If you have any questions or remarks be sure to leave them in the comment section below send me a YouTube message, send a mail to thecodinguniverse at gmail.com, that's thecodinguniverse at gmail.com, or tweet me at codinguniverse.